So what if there was a way to introduce the original timeline, Barry Allen, that a lot of Flash fans have been hoping to see um, in the Flash movie? So what if in the Flash movie, they show a Barry Allen portrayed by Grant Gustin, only that we don't know that it is the same one that we see on the CW screen. And this Barry Allen is working in his lab as a director of the CSI division, possibly in the year 2025 or 2026. And Ezra Miller's Barry shows up as a result of falling through a time portal, because why not? And Barry Allen is like, who are you? And Ezra's Barry is, is like, we have met before. And Grant's Barry is like, no, we haven't. And this will be like a little telltale sign that he isn't the same Barry Allen as a CW version as he would have remembered Ezra Miller's face. So fast forward a little bit, Ezra's Barry. Um, so yeah, fast forward a little bit, Ezra's Barry convention having met CW Barry from what he calls the Maniverse. And then Grant's Barry will be like, multiverse you know kind of like showing a little bit of a relationship establishing that they are both Barry Allen's indeed and they are both flashes of some sort so they can establish a little bit of trust and it's not kind of rushed and then Barry out Al Grant's Barry Allen could be like no the multiverse was destroyed by the anti-monitor in the year 2024 and then maybe you can like find a way to show off this OG Barry Allen smart and intelligence by him deducing that Ezra Bar Ezra's Barry could have possibly met a younger version of the OG timeline Barry Allen through a possible like map book that this Barry Allen may keep on the timeline to see any timeline alterations because of what I'm about to say. So here's where the explanation really comes in. What if the OG timeline Barry Allen is, well, of course we know this, but what if he is the Earth One Barry Allen pre-crisis? And then, you know, he becomes a Flash 2020 and he faces off with the reverse Flash. And in the Crisis of Infinite Earths, it eventually leads him to go back in time and save himself from being murdered by Eobard Dawn. Now, what if that creates a branch in the timeline where the original Barry Allen returns back to 2024? But once he returns, it's not the same that it, it's not the same thing that it used to be. There are maybe some timeline changes. Um... And as far as his knowledge goes, the multiverse is no longer a thing. It has been it has been destroyed by the Anti Monitor. And the second branch in the timeline is the CW Barry that we all see on the screen today, and that is the same Barry that would grow go on to 2019 to be in the Crisis at Infinite Earths event, and will eventually um, become the CW version that we see on the screen today. And yeah, so like I said, the OG Barry Allen will be keeping like a map book possibly because of these timeline alterations that he has now seen for whatever reason because his world is still kind of strange. And let's just say for a strange reason that they can maybe follow up on separately or they could be able to explain in the movie. Let's just say that the OG Barry Allen is, is still able to survive and live because instead of rewriting his own life it created a branch in the realities a branch where earth one barry still exists in the earth prime multiverse if you know what i mean still exists in the multiverse currently in the new multiverse meanwhile cw barry was made as a result of that timeline alteration but yeah that's this is just a little idea that i had like i don't think it's gonna happen obviously but this is just like if i were to introduce the original timeline barry and, you know, especially because of the fan service, this is probably how I would do it via the Flash movie coming out. But yeah, peace.